Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do a face mask. This is the Primark face mask. It cost 80p. It's a moisturising avocado sheet mask. Uh, made in Korea. Does it tell me anything else in the back? It just says moisturising moisturizing avocado sheet mask. And you leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. And that's all it's telling me. And as you can see, it only cost me 80p when I was this last in Primark. And yes, I do have my pyjamas on. Because... Just because. I'm not going anywhere. So let's pop this on our skin. So, what's the date today? It's the 13th of October. I don't know why I'm smelling it, because avocado doesn't actually have a scent, does it? But, no, drippy drippy. I've got a hack on my finger. Oh, they're so sore. I'm a bit stuffed up today. Now this is a very well saturated. I'm trying to get it all unraveled without ripping anything in it. It's going to be absolutely Baltic when I put this on my face. Are we ready? Brace yourself. I don't know what this is up here. Honestly. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh, that's freezing. Oh. oh, I normally like I'm too warm and embrace the coldness, but that is too cold. <laughs> it's got these wee flaps that obviously go over your eyes, but I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to try and tuck it under my eye if I can get the other little flap there because I get such dryness there so it would be good to have that extra bit of moisture okay so that's that one 15 to 20 minutes <sighs> what are we going to chat about that is the question feels very weird under the ice <gasps> if you haven't seen already let me show you one more time Oh, Lethal Cosmetics. Look at this beauty. Oh, I don't just love it. It is such a me palette. I love it so much. I was going to play about with it and put it on my eyes today, but I'm not feeling it, so I ain't going to bother. I'm just going to do this face mask and just see where the rest of the day takes me. I woke at the early hours in the morning with the worst stomach pains. Like, oh my god. So that was joyful. Joyful, joyful, joy. So I don't know what else to tell you really. There's not been much happening. Uh, I've been selling some stuff over on eBay and on my Depop. My Depop is Hoops83. Head on over, check it out. So to give myself some income and obviously to sell some stuff that I'm not using or someone else could get the use out of or all that jelly. And I've accumulated a good few things. So one of them was that Lethal Cosmetics and then the other thing, which you'll see soon, so I don't... is I got some bits from super drug stuff like hair dye and things like that wait till i show you my two new highlighters <laughs> so i have this maybelline face studio chrome extreme in diamond glow they've got this one and they've got like a rose gold one but i got that one and then i got this on depop so now i own and get to try cookie the brush was with it as well, but I got rid of the brush because the person had only used it once, but she hadn't cleaned the, the brush, and I know I could have cleaned the brush, but I was like, it's quite muddy. 
but I've heard good things, so I cannot wait to try that. But I was going to do a bit of a declutter while I'm sitting, but I, I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of makeup, really, contrary to what people might think. Like, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 13 foundations, which might seem extreme for some, but I've seen people that have multiple drawers of them. And then with primers, you know, I've seen people with drawers and drawers of primers, but technically that's not a primer. And technically neither is that a primer. Or that really. So if we're looking at actual primers, I've got three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the odd ones that are like skincare. So I don't actually, you know, have that many of them. So I don't know, but I do know that there's some items within my collection that I've had for longer than necessary, and uh, you know, I should definitely get rid of them. So like my little, this was a candle. And I just kept a little pot and I've put my concealers in it and the mascara that I'm using. Again, I don't have loads of concealers either, you know. So, I don't know. I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm just looking for it. Wait until I show you what's happened to my Pat McGrath palette. I got this one brand new and it is genuine off of a lady on eBay uh, the middle of last year, right? I don't particularly like this packaging anyway. And I know it just needs glue, but look what's happened. <laughs> I mean, the shadows are still fine, so that's all that matters, but... And I mean, as I say, you could just glue this bit back, but yeah. I genuinely think that a uh, Natasha, Natasha Denona's palettes are better quality. Personally, what have we got in here? Have you tried this mascara from Primark? I haven't actually tried it yet because I don't like having too many in the boat. But I watch uh, another Scottish YouTuber, she stays over in Perth, um, called Abby Everett. And she says this is amazing. So the last time I was in, I grabbed that. I have never, believe it or not, tried the um, L'Oreal Telescopic. So I got that. Not recently, but... I've got this Tartus one still to try. This is one of my favourite. I was going to do a video um, just showing you my favourite uh, mascaras. But I never got into doing that. And I don't have like all of my favourite ones. But the ones that I would recommend to you are the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. A Max Factor Masterpiece is brilliant. I am using this one just now and loving it. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I love that. Another one that I love that I don't have is a, the MAC Extended Play. I love the Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara. It's brilliant. I can't think of what other ones. Is it the false, um, maybe, is it Angel? Maybelline Angel or something. But those ones, oh my god, I love them. The Max Fat, if you're like me and you don't wear lashes, which most people do wear lashes, the Max Factor Masterpiece one is brilliant. Maybe when I finish this one that I've got open, I'll open another one, but I don't want to have loads open because then they're just going to get, you know, they're not going to be used properly. I have been so enjoying this palette of recent. Stunning. What noise? Oh, oh, it's my washing machine. 
and the look that I posted the other day, I didn't do a video of it, but I used this colour all over my eyes and oh my god, it's just stunning. I was wondering what that noise was and I'm looking out the window, but it's the washing machine. So yeah, have you started your Christmas shopping yet? Did I see it? But it's only a couple of months away. I can't believe it. Literally in two months time, I'm going to be 38. 30 bloody eight. How did that happen? Honestly. But yeah, so that is that. I managed to get I've actually wrapped but in here my best friend down in New York gave me I've wrapped her um, birthday and Christmas presents. Emily's birthday is on the 25th of November and then mine's is on the 7th of December so we're literally a couple of weeks apart. We're the same star sign. We're both Sagittarians best star, star sign ever. We're very similar in a hell of a lot of ways. I think that, I don't know what, if that's why we got on so well. Um, we're both quite emotional people and wear our hearts and our sleeves. Though she does generally get more emotional than me because I think the medication that I take for my anxiety numbs me to a certain extent. Um, she's very caring. She's a worrier. I worry. Um, she's a great wife, well, good sense of humour. I think I've got a good sense of humour. I think I get my sense of humour from my mum. And my dad was funny, but he was just such a moany person. But, um, yeah, so I managed to get that. And I've got two things for himself for Christmas. So, hopefully, some way, I will be able to get a couple of more things for himself for his Christmas but yeah no going ham for me for that it really bums me out because I love to give gifts I love receiving them but I love to give gifts and I especially love it when you know it's something that someone's really wanted and you're able to get it for them or it's something that they would never dream of asking for or getting for themselves because it's maybe too expensive or what have you. I would just love being able to do that. Like a good few years ago, eh, my friend wanted, you know, she would have loved to have owned an Aston Martin. Now, obviously, I would never have the money to buy her that. But I had enough money because I was working then to get her an experience to drive it and see her face when I gave it up we were both in floods of tears and she was just like oh my god and she was like you know what I mean and it just brought me so much joy and I'm like that like you you saw the way I was if you've seen the video and you're not new to my channel the way I was when Cheryl sent me those gifts you know the um, Chanel perfume and this absolutely gorgeous display box um, you know the the lush stuff everything that she sent you know what I mean I was just overwhelmed uh, Laura sending me that palette you know what I mean I might not crease up and cry every time I get something but I'm like you saw the excitement of me just getting that Lethal Cosmetics palette it's just honestly and the same with when my I got the wilderness palette you know what I mean it's just and me and Emily are both like that as well like we're so grateful for anything like you know Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and we were both besides ourselves even though I own some Charlotte Tilbury makeup you know what I mean it's just yeah that's why to a lot of people things might not be a big deal but I'm like, oh my god, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't even know if this jewellery brand is still about a uh, Thomas Sabo. Anyway, um, when I was in college, around about 2017, they had a shop in Buchanan Galleries in Glasgow. I don't know if they still do. And they do, like, charm bracelets and stuff. And I'd never hinted, I'd never asked, 
nothing. And my friend Jennifer, when we were at college, one time she got me one of their bracelets and I was literally in floods of tears. And she was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, that is the kindest, nicest thing to do. And she was like, do you know it's only like 15 pounds? I was like, it's, it, it's still like, wow to me, you know what I mean? I'm not saying she's ungrateful, but like, you know, her parents would get her GHDs and, um, you know, just like links of London charms, anything like that. So, you know what I mean? She was, it wasn't like, oh my God to her, do you know what I mean? Just like, I don't know, say for example, one day in my life, I was able to buy myself like a Chanel handbag or a YSL handbag, or I was gifted one. I would literally be floored. But then you see some people that are, you know, it's not that big a deal to them as such, or a shock even, you know, and I was just like, oh my god, and I still remember that day, she was like, I can't believe you're so upset about it, and I was like, I'm just so overwhelmed, because to me, that sort of thing, I would have to buy that myself, you know what I mean, I would, I would never ask for it, or far less expect someone to get me it. So, yeah, it bums me out when I can't afford to do that for someone else, you know? Like, even for Amy Lee's 50th last year, I still think what I got her, just in my eyes, wasn't enough. And I was still working then, but I'd literally, it was just a year since I'd lost my dad, and obviously I had to take over the house and stuff on my own, and... And I know that Emily's grateful for whatever. You could you could literally buy her a bar of chocolate and she would be like so grateful. But me being me, I'm like, no, that's not good enough. I have to get her something better. I can't even remember what I got her now. I think I made her up a box of different skincare stuff and things. And then the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that she chose. But I would have loved to have got her, like she loves her jewellery, so I would have loved to have got her a really, really nice, decent pair of earrings or a bit of jewellery or something. I also like gifts that you can keep, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 fantastic getting makeup, skincare, whatever else, and I know you can keep the outdoor packaging, but you know, it's nice to have, I don't know, say for example, like I love gingerbread, everything, and I love bees. Um, so, like, say you were to get a, a little delicate bracelet with, like, a bee on it or something, then you're like, oh, you know what I mean? Stuff like that is nice. But... I'm just rambling. It's time to get this mask off. So, the mask hasn't irritated my skin. It adhered nicely. <coughs> Moisturising enough. Rub it all in. Take it down the jowls. And that's that. Well, for easy pain, she can't complain, can you? Does my skin look more hydrated? I do recommend the Primark masks, actually. They've got a good variety of different types. So if you're ever near a Primark and that, you should totally check them out. So, thanks for sticking around if you have. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!